tough day at the office there, Jimbo? I swear I'm quitting. I'm so done. I'm fucking done. Yeah. You said that last week, dude. I mean it this time. You said that last month when you started the job. It hardly qualifies as news anymore. Come on, guys. A little sympathy for the only guy that actually has to leave the apartment for work. Not one bit. Yeah, I distinctly remember offering you that web developer position three weeks ago. Seems you'd rather bitch and moan about simpletons who can't differentiate between off and sleep mode. It's 2015 and people still don't know how to operate technology properly. You gonna pick that up? Greg. I highly doubt one ball cap is going to make or break the place. Simon? What did you do? It wasn't me. Honest. What are you talking about? It's always you, all right? Were you overclocking? Maybe doing your little hacking thing again? Were you downloading ventriloquist porn? Who downloads porn? I mean, in 1999? You stream... I was writing code, genius. Yeah, likely story. Hey, guys. The neighbor's power's out, too. Well, we are living in L.A. Rolling blackouts kind of come with the territory. Do you got any flashlights over here? No. <laughs> What the shit was that? I don't know. Dude, is your phone working? Mm hmm. I'm gonna go check the TV. Hey, any word from the outside yet? All circuits are jammed. I may be able to shed some light on this. I'm trying to trace the source of the signal. If I can find out where it came from, maybe I can download it. You sure you want to be doing that, man? Maybe I'm wrong, but the blackout appears to have been connected with a code or signal of sorts, a message. I want to find out what it says. How long would it take? Depending on where the source is, say an hour, maybe more. I'm gonna get a Pop Tart. You guys want a Pop Tart? No. I've been through all the local servers, then the national, and finally global. And still nothing. Well, not quite. See, as I was going through everything, I, I did find something of interest. It appears we weren't the only ones affected. This was worldwide. This is worldwide? Yeah. Turns out everyone with internet access was affected. It bypassed every known firewall or restriction. I've never seen anything like it. What the hell could have done this? I broadened the search as much as I could. Whoever, whatever, did this was good. Godlike, even. Man, you guys are ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's just a bunch of sexless, bored hackers sticking around. To this extent? I mean, it's not surprising with all that's been hacked lately that the scope has broadened. 
I mean, this whole thing just reeks of anonymous, ISIS. Greg, none of this should even be happening, man. This technology, it, it doesn't exist. You know what? This whole thing is ridiculous. I'm going to bed. So what are you suggesting? I don't know. We'll find out as soon as... What is it? Well, let's see. So it led us through the local servers, mm -hmm. over to the ground-based receivers, mm -hmm. out to Voyager 1. Voyager sent this? I don't think so. I mean, the message was relayed through it, but from there... Where? Unknown. So... Fucking aliens? Really? It's possible. It's possible. Can you even fucking hear yourself right now, man? You just said that aliens sent us a coded message deep from space. Well, well man, I'm not completely convinced either, but I don't have another theory that comes close. Do you? <laughs> You've gone off the deep end, bro. Is it really that far-fetched to consider that maybe we're not alone out there? I mean, what if this otherwise insignificant day has now become the day when we first made contact with another life form. We both longed for and feared this day since people first looked up into the stars and wondered what the hell was going on. And now, it's finally happened. I don't know, man. It's gonna take more than a coded message to convince me. Speaking of, can you download it? Yeah, let's find out. The file has been coded to recognizable format right there in the Voyager probe. Let's find out who they are. What is that thing? I don't know, man. Simon, you okay? <gasps> yeah, a little queasy, but I'll live. What was that thing? I don't know. Have you seen anything like that? No, no. Oh, whatever it is, it's gone now. Jesus, we've been out for over two hours. TV's back on. Where's Greg? I don't... Greg! Greg? Greg? Jesus. Greg? Hey, buddy. Hey. Are you okay? No, man. I'm not okay. That thing just came in and tossed us, man. Like we were nothing. You know, I'm strong, man. You know, I, I can handle myself in a fight, but... 
And that thing grabbed me, man. Just. Uh... I can get out of this. Aren't we, Jim? It's over. No. Everything's gonna be fine. The TV's back on. Everything's going back to normal. Here, let's get you cleaned up and you can see everything's gonna be fine. Get you a towel, okay? Hey. He's gonna be all right? Yeah. Any news? Nothing. They talk about the blackout, the cryptic message, nothing else. Guys, uh, the message, it's been translated. Well? It's a warning. Deactivate all electronic signals, devices, everything. Or they, they will find you.